Michael from Quality Classics, and today I'm going to talk to you about when is a Mustang rare? So from 1965 to 1968, what I call the early years, they made almost two million of them. So a Mustang during that period is rarely rare, but there are Mustangs that can be considered rare. And I'll tell you how I judge, uh, in my opinion, when one is rare. A Mustang is rare when within the its year model, very few are produced just like it with the options that it has and with the color that it came, both interior and exterior. That separates one Mustang from the herd within each model year. And everything in the building's rare. What's off camera over here, you might be able to see the corner of is a yellow 66 Mustang K-Code. We've got a GT Mustang Fastback, silver frost up here. Another Shelby, Acapulco Blue Fastback over there. And then the rarest of the group is this Highland Green GT500 convertible. How rare is it? Well, to answer that, we'll go to the Marty Report, which I have sitting right here, and it'll tell us how rare it is. So let's take a look at the Marty Report. And looking at the Marty Report, I can see that they only made 402 428 Mustang convertibles, uh, GT convertibles, Shelby GT convertibles, 402. Very rare, very low production. Only 153 of those were four-speed cars. Okay, now we're getting down to small numbers. Of those 153, only 24 were painted Highland Green, this beautiful green that you see that everybody loves. And of those 24, only had seven had saddle interior. So we're talking about only seven cars that were built like this car right here. That's very rare. Okay, so we saw by looking at the Marty report that it's an extremely low production car. So if you think about it, one of seven, one of seven exactly like this. Now of the billions of people in this world, only seven people can have a car exactly like this one. That's ridiculous ridiculously rare. And of those seven, how many are of this quality and in this condition? Uh, no one knows the answer to that. But this car, in terms of quality, it's amazing. It benefited from a rotisserie bare metal restoration. So the car is probably nicer. Well, it, it's undoubtedly nicer uh, cosmetically than when it was brand new. The car is like a brand new car. It's really, it's, it's stunning. Uh, but don't Quit the video until you get all the way to the end so you can see the undercarriage pictures. Very, very impressive. Now, before we go on our test drive, let's talk about how do I even know it's a Shelby? Well, we looked at the Marty Report. The Marty Report tells us it's a Shelby GT500, and that should be enough. But then we have this book right here, the Shelby American World Registry. Okay, that's a big deal. This book has this car in it. In fact, I've marked the page, and let's just see what it says about this car. It's pretty interesting. All right, this car was shipped brand new to Ron's Ford uh, after it was ordered by the original owner, Budget Car Rental in Bristol, Tennessee. I would love to know the stories that this car can tell, the places that it's been. It would just be fascinating to have that information. Of course, that information's long gone, but you know the fact is, that's where it began its history. Now, you can look at this car, if you know how to look at this car, and it speaks for itself. When you look at the original components on the car and the condition of those components, you know that it lived a very good life, especially the body. When the body comes forward like that, in this condition, this original of this quality, you know it wasn't in a bad environment and it wasn't left outdoors. It was owned by preservation-minded owners. Now, let's take a look at the engine bay and look at that monster 428 big block under the hood. Okay, take a look at this monster 428. Now, like a lot of these high-performance big block cars, this is not the original engine that came in the car, but a lot of people will consider it better. It's not the 428 police interceptor, it's the 428 Cobra Jet, higher horsepower, super Hall of Fame engine. It's got the Cobra Jet heads. It also has 
uh, kind of what I would call a day two sit up with a dual four system. They didn't come from the factory like that, but a lot of guys immediately that had the extra dough would run out and put that system on this car. It just adds to the excitement level. It's got a modern day AC compressor, but the rest of the AC system is an OEM type uh, looking system. So the car is updated and enhanced and you know the experience behind the wheel is just a little more exciting than it would have been from the factory. So let's go on that test drive and let's just see what that experience is like. Here on the back roads and it's warming up we'll be out of the neighborhood just in a second and uh, we'll just see what this GT 500 feels like right now I can tell you it is just rock solid super tight it telegraphs nothing but quality you know the feel if you know these cars and this car feels well I mean it feels much like it would have when it was brand new and it should uh, really technically mechanically it is absolutely a brand new car Okay, so what separates this car from just about any other 1968 Mustang? Well, about everything. Just about everything about it separates it. Now, even when you get down to the Shelby 68 Mustangs, here we're talking big block. We're talking about the GT500. We're also talking about a four-speed GT500. And then when you couple in the other options and the way this car was colored from the factory, it's just, it's, a, it's an American treasure is what it is. And a blast to drive. You know, if the experience behind the wheel is not exciting, then the, to me, the car's not exciting. But this experience behind the wheel in this car is very exciting. You can see why people pay big bucks for these when they're right. And let me tell you, far more of them are not right than are right. This car is righteously right. Yeah, you know you're in a big block, and you know you're in a very good big block. It pulls. Wow, what a car. You know, it's too nice a car for me to thrash to its uh, last potential. I'll leave that up to the proud new owner, but believe me, she does run. Okay, you still have another gear, uh, but this car is going to go to a place that I don't want to go. It's all there. There's four. Yeah. That's a big block, and that's a healthy big block. That feels fantastic. This is why people love these cars. That torque is instant. It's in every gear, and it feels fantastic. It really does. This is American muscle right here. Everything about this car just screams fun and exciting. Okay, this road is an absolute beat road. I mean, it's garbage, patched on from one end to the other, and shaky cars will shake themselves to death. 
This car is not colliding with itself. It's doing beautifully. It's a tight, tight car. And this is my beta test, this road right here. If it takes this road nicely, you've got a superior car, and this is a superior car. Okay, I pushed it pretty hard back there, and she is not running hot. It's probably, oh, 95 degrees out here today, and look at that. Very impressive. You gotta love that. So that's it for the test drive. What do I think about this car? Oh my gosh. I am super impressed with this car. I'm hard to impress because I've had a lot of nice cars and I know the difference between quality and a fluffed up car. This car is quality all the way. I hope you enjoyed the test drive. I loved it. It was a lot of fun. I can't wait to drive this car again. If you did enjoy the test drive, please click like, uh, sign up for our channel to see more of our YouTube videos and go to our website, qualityclassics.com. I think you'll love the cars my son and I are getting. We buy quality, hard to find, high option examples just like this 68 Shelby GT500. Come back often. Adios.